yeah, it's good enough. Put on this cape. Okay, so sextants. So if you look up the price of sextants, they're quite expensive. Um, they will cost you multiple chaos to do. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can very easily waste a lot of money in an inefficient way. So the way that you do sextants is this is really uh, overwhelming, but it's very simple actually. So I'm going to zoom into a very specific point in the map to show you what you do with sextants. Okay. So, I like doing Shaped Shore. Shaped Shore is a wide open map and you can just blast things like super far away. It's, it's one of the, my favorite maps in the game. Uh, when you use sextants on Shape Shore to make it better, there's a certain amount of maps. This one, this one, this one, this one, and then two red ones. It, the, the Shape Shore itself and then the coves, right? However, uh, there are mods that these can roll that are not pleasant, that are not good to do, right? And you don't want your Shape Shore to get those mods. So what you do is you take your white sextants, right? And you see these like shitty, these, these shitty maps, you actually use them, right? Because the way a sextant works is if it's overlapping with something that's already on there, that one cannot roll those mods. It cannot roll a copy of the same ones, right? So, for example, I don't like taking increased damage, right? That's not cool. You can die, right? So what I did was I, I made sure to roll it on one of the maps, right? So I used these shitty sextants and I got it on this map. So that means whenever I sextant this, it cannot get uh, damage while stationary. Another one that really sucks is slip streams. Slip streams are just a waste of a mod, right? All they do is put little patches of shit on the ground to make things run faster. It's a waste, right? So I put slip streams here. So now this has slip streams. So whenever I put that here, this can't get slip streams, right? So what you do is you get all the shitty ones here, right? Uh, found items drop identified, that's garbage, uh, increased damage, um, monster crap. Uh, this one, okay, so this one is a double-edged sword. Some people like it if they're melee because it, they can ignore it, but uh, if you're ranged, which is what, what I'm playing right now, uh, you do not want a sextant that gives this to monsters because additional there are monsters that put up uh, AOE shields and you cannot damage them unless you're in the shield so it's suicidal to play this as a ranged character because they'll non-stop spam shields and you have to literally go into each one of their bubbles to kill them I'm sure you've uh, come across this situation before because these ma these mods like sometimes um, these monsters sometimes are in your maps and they're super fucking annoying well if you roll that sextant the next three maps that you do will have those monsters in there and it's the worst so I rolled that so that this one can't get that so what you do is you pop all the sextants in a row and you make sure that each one adds something decent to the map so I'm not running anything right now uh, but uh, for example I'll pop one there and uh, this one's a good roll so uh, the unique boss will do more damage but it's a very small amount but maps have 20% uh, increased quality that's incredible so that's something that I would run um, if I'm gonna run a couple more let's see so a cool little trick that you can do is every time you sell three you get uh, one of a tier higher right so right now I don't need my white ones because I'm not really using them so I'll just sell them up and I'll turn them into these yellow ones right so then the next two right so now this one can't get a uh, you know, I can't get a duplicate of that, right? Um, and this one can't either. So what I do is I go here and I use this there, right? So this one says um, players and monsters take 10% increased cold damage. That's a very small amount, but it gives monsters, it gives density to the map. So now um, my Shape Shore has uh, maps, an extra 20% quality and monsters that deal cold damage with 
the uh, additional pack size, right? Uh, so then I roll this one. Uh, the unique boss will now drop a unique item. That one's all right. It's it's nothing crazy, but you know, whenever I kill a boss, I get a free unique item. That's cool. Um, so I'm out of fucking things, so I can't put this one here. But I'll do it right here. Uh, I don't like that one, so I roll again. This one's incredible. So now every magic uh, pack in the in the fucking map will now have 30% pack size. And then I roll this one, and uh, this is another pack size. So the bodyguards count as additional monsters, and the boss will drop an additional map. So now you go back to your uh, your shape shore, and it's the fucking juiciest thing you've ever seen in the world. Like it has pack size, it has additional monsters, it has 20% quality, it has monster ma magic pack size, it drops an additional map. So because I took the time to use the white shitty ones to like block the bad ones, every single one that I used was pretty much good, right? And that was, I, I maximized my efficiency. So now when I run the shape shore, uh, it's going to have all this fucking craziness on it. And that's, that's, exa that's exactly how you should use sextants. Um, Again, over here, right, so the best map in the game, they nerfed it. It used to be Shape Strand, but what I did here was I essentially rolled all the shitty things here, right? So additional physical monsters, uh, invasion boss, uh, found items drop identified. So 